I was uh, 19, 20 years old when I was drafted into the United States Army. I finished uh, college. Uh, I came out. I thought I'd be looking for a job. I went from 2S uh, to 1A. And uh, Uncle Sam said, uh, you're ready for uh, uh, service in the United States Army. And I was drafted. I uh, was uh, sent to uh, Fort Jackson, South Carolina, basic training, two months. Came home, spent a month with my mother, father, sister. I received orders to go to Fort Leonardwood, Missouri. Uh, that was a uh, advanced individual training. Uh, because I had a background in electrical engineer, I uh, served in the 4th Infantry, 25th Battalion, Corps of Engineers. Right. And after uh, two months of uh, uh, advanced individual training, uh, I received orders to uh, go to uh, Vietnam. I, I was a little shaken up. I was uh, a young man from Brooklyn, let alone uh, out of the United States. I was never in uh, uh, Far East Asia. I was in um, Saigon when I received orders for uh, play coup. It was an area of Vietnam that was uh, below uh, the uh, DMZ. It wasn't as far as Da Nang, where they were, uh, the Marines were fighting and the, uh, the United States Army was fighting, uh, but uh, it was uh, in a hot area. The uh, personnel officer that uh, uh, was in uh, Saigon saw that I came from Brooklyn. He also was from Brooklyn, and he said, uh, Dennis, we don't want to send you to, uh, uh, to uh, Bambi Tui, which was a little bit further north in Vietnam. Uh, in Bambi Tui, you're going to sweep mines. We don't want you to sweep mines. We're, we're going to put you in a squad of, uh, uh, of uh, you know, uh, uh, Army GIs, and you're going to uh, uh, install and repair power generators. And that's what, what my, that's what my job was in Vietnam. The job that I had in Vietnam was, uh, was a relatively uh, safe job. Uh, you go to uh, to uh, to the boonies, and uh, you would uh, we would uh, take uh, uh, generators there, uh, install generators, and uh, uh, finish the job within a day. And either if we were f flown in by helicopter or we drove to the area that we needed to install the generators, that's that's what my uh, job assignment was. Uh, and the rule of thumb in Vietnam. Uh, in the area that we were installing the generators was uh, that you have to finish the job in, uh, in one day. You can't stay overnight because the areas that we uh, installed the generators, even though they were uh, uh, surrounded by uh, concertina or barb barbed wire and cyclone fencing, uh, they, uh, at night the uh, south uh, the South Vietnamese would, um, uh, that worked for the United States government, uh, filling sandbags, doing road work, road repair, they were sympathizers to the North, North Vietnamese. And um, uh, they would, uh, at night, they would put on their black pajamas and they would uh, twirl uh, satchel charges, that's uh, burlap charges. Uh, filled with explosives, and they would uh, harass and maim the GIs uh, that uh, were in this compound uh, that we were either uh, repairing a generator or installing a generator. Uh, it happened uh, twice uh, that we needed to stay over. Uh, the second time that, it we stay, that I stayed over, I was uh, uh, wounded with shrapnel. Uh, it, was a, it was an unhappy time because uh, I was in the wrong place at the wrong time. I was wounded uh, by a piece of shrapnel uh, uh, going across my chest. Uh, I, was, uh, uh, I was in shock. Uh, my, the fellows that were in my squad, they put me against a tree. Uh, I was looking down at my severely cut chest and uh, I, um, 
I could only think of uh, my mother, my father, my sister, my relatives, and thinking that I would never be able to get back to the United States and uh, this was uh, not going to be good for me. At the time, uh, uh, the uh, fellas uh, in my squad, uh, they saw that I was hit. Uh, my uh, fatigue uh, uh, shirt was uh, uh, cut in half. Uh, my chest was uh, flapping, uh, and I was holding on to it. But it, t it turns out that I was medevac out of the area of Pleiku. I stayed in a Army hospital. Uh, field hospital and then uh, in the morning they put me on a plane and I went to Saigon and from Saigon I went to uh, this would this is within uh, 24 48 hours I wound up going to uh, Camp Zama in Japan and I stayed in Camp Zama for uh, 30 days uh, and uh, for Camp that was the uh, million dollar wound because I left Vietnam, I left uh, Japan, and I went to uh, Walter Reed Army Hospital. Unfortunate for me is uh, once I left uh, Vietnam, let alone uh, you know going over to uh, Japan and then Japan to uh, Walter Reed Army Hospital, uh, you just lose track of everybody that uh, you uh, w w w that I was in contact when I was served in the military. When you when your chest is opened uh, opened up, it it seems that w one the government is a little slow at w what they do, and uh, there's uh, you're always recuperating, and there's a field of, of there's a squad of a uh, team of doctors that go around the medical wards and they see if you're able to. Uh, in, in the case of uh, Japan, I thought I would be leaving within a week, but it turned out that I stayed in Japan for 30. 30 days in a, in a hospital bed, uh, uh, convalescing and waiting for that one uh, team of doctors each week to look at uh, look at the patients. And as they came past my bed and they looked at uh, my charts, uh, I wasn't ready to fly back to the United States uh, until uh, four weeks later. They said he'll be able to go back to Walter Reed Army Hospital. And it's funny, oh, the same process happens uh, in, um, in Walter Reed Army Hospital. You're assigned a ward, you stay in a bed, you're able to, if you're able to get up out of the bed, you're able to uh, uh, convalesce, uh, but uh, it's the same, it's the team of doctors that mm -hmm. uh, provide uh, medical assistance and to see if, you, if you're gonna continue on in the military or you're gonna be discharged. Uh, no, my my uh, when I uh, called family from Japan and I told them that I'd be uh, coming back to the stateside and I'd be in Walter Reed Army Hospital. And they uh, uh, they had asked how I was. You know, am I? Uh, they didn't know if I lost uh, an arm, a leg, a finger, a, a toe, uh, anything. And uh, when I told them that uh, I was hit with shrapnel across my chest. They said, uh, uh, "Are you going to be okay? Are you going to be? You're able to uh, to function?" I said, "It's no problem. Uh, I'm going to be uh, convalescing in uh, DC, in Washington D.C. And uh, if you want to come down, fine. If not, uh, I'll be back. Uh, I'll be I'll be out of the military in, uh, in soon." There were Marines, and you know these these guys. They, they did the fighting, yeah. you know. They 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 were they were constantly getting beat up. They were constantly getting maimed, injured, uh, killed. You know, they, they were the wards of uh, uh, that I would see in uh, Walter Reed Army Hospital. These guys were uh, they lost legs, they lost arms. You know, they they they, they were really. Um, uh, it's sad to see uh, Americans uh, uh, crippled the way that they were. Uh, this was a 24-month stint that uh, I did what I needed to do, or what uh, the Army told me to do, and I did it, and I back stateside. All I needed was uh, to find a nice girl, uh, which I did. Uh, we got married. Uh, we had Michael. I started a business. The most significant uh, uh, thought about Vietnam was my, f my guys that I 
pals out with on the uh, the squad, and uh, they grabbed a hold of me and they put me against this tree. You know, maybe if I go back to the back to Vietnam, I could actually bring you to the tree. Yeah. Well, no, it, it was uh, it was uh, 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 something that I remember for the rest of my life. The uh, the uh, Northport VA uh, uh, they uh, recently sent me a uh, 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 a scheduled appointment uh, because the area of Vietnam that I was in uh, they sprayed uh, Agent Orange and uh, I went for the uh, testing out in Northport uh, Suffolk County and uh, all the results. Uh, show that uh, I didn't have an, uh, an adverse, uh, the Agent Orange did, did not have an adverse effect on, on myself. I really think that uh, uh, if it wasn't for myself being born and raised in Brooklyn, New York, uh, in a somewhat tough area, uh, East New York, Bedford-Stuyvesant, uh, I, I don't think that I would have uh, survived as well as I, as I did. It, it uh, growing up in those areas, in those in those areas, they taught me that I needed to survive. I, I don't have no remorse. I have no uh, uh, ill feelings towards uh, uh, the government sending me to Vietnam and being in Vietnam. I don't want to use the word fighting because I, there's uh, too many of uh, uh, the people that I passed along my stories to about Vietnam are exactly what I just passed along to you. You know, I, I, I don't come here as a, uh, I'm not a hero. Did my job and unfortunately was in the wrong place at the wrong time. I'm an American and I feel that uh, uh, I had an obligation to uh, go to Vietnam. I served, I was fortunate enough where uh, my, uh, my, my injury uh, didn't uh, 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 handicapped me in any in any way and I, I learned from it. It was a valuable experience in growing up and uh, I think a, a lot of the uh, things that happened to me, whether it be in uh, Fort Jackson, Ca South Carolina or uh, Fort uh, Leonardwood, Missouri or Fort Belvoir, Virginia, Play Coup, Vietnam, I think uh, these items uh, th th that I uh, that I realized uh, it, it helped me uh, throughout my adult life.